Basil Chapman, what's going on, brother? Well, this is funny. I can hear you in the studio, but I can't hear my mic. I don't think that can the can the audience hear you? If they can, uh, that's great. So we'll know in a second. I we guess. got yeah. We have you, brother. Okay, good. I'm getting my picture up. There it is. That's okay. a beautiful so thing. So the chart, the chart I wanted to show you. Okay. Is so fascinating. Look at this. For months, I've been talking to you about this and saying. There's a technique that I use that I call the dark news cloud cover. In other words, there's always bad news out there. At various times, the same news the market could tank or the, or the market could hold. You just, you're never quite sure. So I've had this since 11th of November. I drew this in and said there's going to be a, a, some kind of resistance in this area. And then I drew it as this horizontal line. And if you can see it right now, so this horizontal line is representing all the resistance ever since that November high. And most importantly, what we've got is uh, a breakout today. As I'm talking to you right now, yep. we've got a break to the upside, as you can see right there. Okay. So that's the first time that we've been able to do that. The second thing I wanted to show is in the daily charts, there's this beautiful cup formation. And the cup formation is essentially looking at a price tie match that went to this leg D. Now, in the chapter, we're always looking for four higher peaks, uh, peak A, B, C, D. The fourth highest peak is where other things can happen. You can see that back on the 16th of uh, 16th of June, we made that peak D, came down, and now we've had another peak A, peak B, peak, peak C. And I thought that we would have just a momentary pause, so we actually went just a little bit short the, uh, two days ago. We got stuffed out today, but look at this, the way the Dow accelerated out and it's breaking out. So this is a really good sign. But to go back to this chart he, right here, it, it's not just one time that you can get, because it's almost like a head, a head and shoulders pattern. Here's the left side shoulder, here's the head, here's the right side, and this is the neckline. So this is the first time we're actually breaking above it. So I'd say I need about two weeks of active uh, movement above 34,600 to 30, 34,800. That'll be really positive. It's the first time that we've been doing this since that November high. And other things that I'm looking at is, so for subscribers from opening call, we, we've had bots, which is, here it is, B-O-T-Z. This is the, can I type that in right there? That is the I should, the ETF, B-O-T, let me just type that in again, B-O-T-Z, there it is. Robotics, the, right? I, yep for the Global X Robotics and AI ETF, making a new recovery high. The all-time high was 39.99, it went down to 17.31. We've been long uh, for quite some time since April, and it's now breaking above the left side round number 30 that it made back in June around the 16th. So that's important. So there are very specific areas that are moving nicely. We've got another stock, NVE, and we don't have enough. We've been trying to add to it, but it keeps getting away. We've got it in the 16s, and here it is. It is 23 today, so it's a very nice move to the upside. This is Enovix Corporation. This is to do with 3D cell architecture for battery development. So I like that area. That kind of goes with the uh, artificial intelligence bots that we were looking at just now. And then we have another one that I've spoken to you about for quite some time. Also, we wanted to add to it, but it keeps getting away. This is at 53.83 right now. We're in from the 21s. We've taken quite a bit of profits from this. Um, so this is acting well, and this is in the Robotic Warehouse Automation System, Symbotic Inc. So it's very interesting that it's been very specific. But today, for the first time, we're actually, you spoke about Bank of America. This is the first time that the financials have had a very strong follow-up movement from this 200-period moving average that has been resistance for so long. So I think that we're looking at the sector rotation as being really important. Uh, we also actually added uh, gold the other day. <clears throat> and one of the things about it is that, yes, the dollars pulled back sharply and gold's moved nicely. Actually, gold should be a lot sharper to the upside with dollar, the dollar down so, so precipitously. <clears throat> but I do think that this is a place that money seems to be going in, in, this, in this particular phase. So I think that uh, gold is acting pretty well right now. It isn't quite as good as I would like it, but <laughs> it's it's doing quite nicely. So this, is, as as I said, is a very, in my show tomorrow, I'm going to show some of the patterns that we're looking at, these cup formations. 
that are telling us that even the industrials, the Caterpillar, which is heavy duty equipment, this is the deep cyclicals, almost within a point, a couple of points of its all time high, PAVE, which we won't say we don't have it anymore, but PAVE is the Global X US Infrastructure Development ETF, all time high. This is this is very unusual in a period like this when we we got so much negativity in the newspapers and the media. When you've got all time highs, excellent. look at that. Yeah, and I'm looking at Caterpillar right now too. That's amazing, man. Yeah, Isn't there's that no doubt. Quite something. Would yeah. you expect? It? No, right. you wouldn't expect it under these conditions. But here it is. Look at this. This is the XLI, which really the Dow is really not the industrials anymore. But the S and P Select Industrial Spider Fund, even though it's a mix, has way more cyclicals and deep cyclicals. Here it is, and as we're speaking, it hit an all time high today. This is a very unusual market when you have. There are so many people that are actually underinvested at this particular time, and here we are at all-time highs. I think that says it's a very good sign, and it does say that on any major pullback, any really sharp pullback, is going to give a lot of buying opportunities. We're looking at a lot of stocks that have run up on the upside, and we miss them. We'd like to get in on any deep pullback. So I think it's going to be a very nice buying opportunity if we can get that sell-off. Yeah, <laughs> that's the real key, right? <laughs> if you can get right. that sell-off. Well, I, I have this pattern. You remember I always talked to you about this, the Chamway stalk leg for me. Oh, yeah, I always wanted to just, shoot that stock leg, man. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back uh, years, decades, actually. So the XLI <laughs> weekly chart had a very strong move from the 8276 area. So that's the leg. This is the oval body. It looks like. Uh, a stalk, and I drew the little pattern right there to say this is what we're looking at, and this is the next. So when this comes down for the beak, right. that beak should touch the height, the height that peak D high that was made. So even there, we've got very clear parameters, I think, for uh, unfolding pattern. I like what I'm seeing. Yes, nice. Right and folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right hand side. The opening call. Hit that newsletter. You can get a free, uh, well, money day, three day, 30 day money back guarantee. So check it out, folks. There's a lot of great information. Bows, have a great one. Have a safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you very much.